Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're just going to be talking about shadows in Eevee and how to increase the quality. Now, at the moment, I've got a point light here, and we can see that we've got this issue where it seems like the cube, the default cube, but then deleted, is actually kind of hovering above it and not and not really in the right spot. So what we can do is we can come into the render settings, we can come down into shadows, and we can change the cube size up, and we can just max that up a bit better. And then we can go to this one as well and turn on high bit depth. And we can see it's, it's a lot closer. We can also come into our light settings. So I've got the light selected, shadows, contact shadows. We turn that on and it gets ever a little bit closer. And that's kind of looking quite nice, just like that. And if we come up into our light again and we change it to sun, this is what we've got. It's a little bit blown out. I'm just going to bring the strength down to two. And we can see with this, this shadow is quite nice. If we went back into the render settings and we changed this back down to what it was, you can see the yuckiness. So pretty much bumping up the cube size here and cascade size. Now, obviously the downfall is, is it's gonna be slightly longer render times, but compared to cycles, not to worry. Now, the other issue is, let's say your camera is super far away. And now I've got my camera really far back. It's about 300 units away and we can see that there's no shadow. So what we need to do is select our light, come to the light settings and under this cascade shadow map, we need to increase the distance. So I'm just gonna put a zero in there and then we can see that we've got our shadow back. So those are some quick tips just about using shadows in Eevee. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with content. And I'll be starting a new web series soon on creating an animated short film. We're gonna do another one from scratch and let's see what happens.